You feeling the summer vibes, Glenn? Oh yeah, the sun is shining here in Wellington. Oh, yeah. You don't get that very often. Hello guys, welcome back to another beautiful day here in Wellington. Um, but this place was actually established in 1855 by an earthquake. This used to be actually a harbour or underwater, as I know from my research. But we are going on a random little tour around town. We're going to explore the neighbourhood. Madeline is going to give you an insight on what we're doing. What are we doing right now? Yeah, so if you've seen our last video, that was our first time in Wellington. It was our first impression. Yes. Go back and watch it. So this is our second day here in Wellington and we're going to continue our tour. We're going to go to Leeds Street and have a bit of a great coffee, which is very famous here. Wellington is known for its coffee. And then we're going to explore later on the Victoria Lookout, which you probably can see behind us. And then we're going to go down the hill to the um, Oriental Bay. That's All right. our plan. That's our walking tour right now. So we're going to do it and I'm going to walk you through our experience today and hopefully you enjoy the journey so it's gonna be fun hello sir good job and supposedly like this is the best thing you can kind of do so this is kind of our objective doing the few best thing you can do here in wellington on a beautiful sunny day oh yeah the sun is shining guys we have a beautiful day here we're very lucky with the weather it's usually very windy but it's a bit windy today as you know wellington is known to be one of the windiest places in the in the world so it's a bit of a funny fact indeed but we have an irish pub right behind us called molly malone i'm not sure if you know who molly malone is she's a historical character in ireland so and um, we're walking down the street exploring this is a bit chaotic around here it's there's a lot of people there's a lot of Oh, and it's 12. Have to, uh, the lunch we always catch everybody on the lunch break. Yeah. Because we're late. We do, we're currently doing a dog sitting and house sitting, so we have to look after our animals. That's why we're always so late. So welcome to the afternoon here in Wellington. So the first stop will be a bakery, which I got recommended a lot. So I want to check it out. If it's like, yeah. A bit of copyright music there guys. We're walking down an alleyway, are we? Is this where the cafe is? Yeah. The bakery. Not sure. I actually found it on my research and it's called Shelly Bay Bakers on Leeds Street. What a great name. <laughs> yeah. And it's actually a nice bar apparently too. So yeah. We'll if people going for afternoon points. Yeah? No? I wanna have some I wanna have some pastry. What are you bringing me, Madeline? Down these scary alleyways. Seems like office buildings, no? Yeah. Oh, look at this. That is Leeds Street Bakery, guys. Oh, there's people working in these factories and all. Oh, wow. Oh, so this probably used to be an industrial estate. Yeah, industrial estate. That's what it street. seems like. A renovated industrial estate. Yeah, street. and now it's like a cool hipstery hub for co offices, co office, and maybe, you know, good restaurants and bars. Lee Street Bakery. Ah, uh, this is the bakery you're talking about. You kept talking about this. Started to get on my nerves about this bakery. <laughs> Jelly Bay Baker. Let's check this place out. Taking samples again, Madeline. What the hell is that? Try me. All right, let's give it a go. What a pesto, is it? It's like a pesto. Oh yeah, that is beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Madeline kept talking about this pastry, and I thought it was. She only came for a pastry. I thought she was going to get something else as well. Yes, pastry is life, guys. The thing is, it's more of a... Madeline is more of a guidance. I just follow her. So I never know what to expect, really, with the journey around town. So, I thought I was getting a coffee, but unfortunately... No, he's not getting a coffee yet. We're going to another place where he can... Um, w which I want to try for coffee. And they only do, like, filtered coffee. They make it, like, really special. So definitely a place I want to check out. So I'm excited for that. And they say Wellington, they only yeah. make filtered coffee in Wellington. I mean, in the old days. Yeah. But. but like now, I have to try this and see. What... You love your French pastries, don't you? It is good, but, but what? what's the problem? Nine out of ten. That's pretty decent. That's a decent rating. Oh, eight same. out of ten. That is really good. This is really top level. I think I had a, a small bit better one. I think it was it in Hawkes Bay. I'm not sure where it was, but this is really top. This is great. Very so. nice to know. <laughs> so we're walking down the. The hipster street here, Lee Street. Are you getting a more of a hipster vibe around here in Lee Street? Yeah. I've noticed that a but lot. Like, but like, it's like Thursday, or what is it? Friday morning, Thursday morning? It's Thursday morning, Madla. It is very quiet, so I think if you come on a weekend, it's full of people, busy. And what I've noticed, this place is really popular because a lot of pastries and stuff was already gone, probably by all them people working and getting this. And do you see this building? 
Yeah, it's just weird. What? Are you sure they built that correctly, or was that well, done on purpose? Or? It's called art. Okay, okay. Which is also really popular and famous here. The windows are a bit. The are windows are a bit wonky, aren't they? They're a bit sideways. Maybe someone didn't measure correctly, Glenn. <laughs> that is a pretty cool street, though. Look. That's very colourful, very artistic. Loving the vibes around here, guys. Loving the vibes. Giving me the hipster vibes, actually. Look oh, there's a coffee shop. Look at all these cute little coffee shops, honestly. It's, they deserve to mention it's, it. It's overwhelming, though. It's overwhelming. There's so many cool coffee shops. Guys, we just entered Glover Park here in Wellington. And it seems like they have a lot of bean bags out in the garden, out in the park. Place to relax. It's a Glover Park. I think we're going to get a coffee and then chill out here. Oh, what a great place. That looks very colourful. And they also have some craft beer as well. And some live music probably in the evening times. Oh, that, looks so cool. that is a great place to sunbathe for the day. Right in the centre of town. It's pretty cool. Is that the coffee place? Ah, okay. Are you sure we're allowed to sit in the park then if we get a coffee over here? Take away, Who wants the bean bags? It must be the pub. That's pretty unusual. I mean, it's a really cute concept, but it's probably hard to maintain all the bean bags out in the park. Yeah, nice, what a place. Yes. You got some good, yeah? Oh, good, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Black coffee. Charcoal powder. I like it. So, matcha, we do matcha latte or matcha with some milk? Yeah, can you do um, oh, no. matcha yeah. with Yes. Yeah. Do you want it sweeter or not? No. No? Yeah. Oh. yeah, black coffee, please. Only filter, yeah. Yeah, filter coffee, yeah. 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 Something fruity or less fruity? Uh, fruity, please. Fruity. Yeah, so strong, kind of, obviously. Light coffee, but strong caffeine. Strong caffeine, they're all really like, there's a lot of caffeine in there, but they're all like roasted. Okay, so yeah, like, yeah. Super light, awesome, super yeah. delicate, yeah. You choose the best. Um, if you like something quite like body, maybe do like a nice uh, Colombian uh, geisha vermont. It's quite balanced. Nothing Strawberry, too hard, watermelon. Nothing too fruity, yeah, yeah, sounds good. Yeah, nothing too fruity, nothing too like acidic. Yeah. I'll take a choice, yeah. yeah. You're the expert. Matcha is oh, in the process. Always hand with matcha. Kind of how it should be, yeah? Yeah, yeah. the only way. Yeah. And we just got back from Japan. You get the fluff, you know. One cup for Glenn there. Your Ooh, coffee. Lovely, delicious. That's, it's made. I think, yeah. It's not mine, you sure? Just mine, yeah. That's yours. Thanks, boss. Appreciate it. You want to sit down and take the risk? You're not allowed to sit there. I'll go for it. This is a nice place I'll to sit down. I don't think, I think it's just... It's public. I don't, I don't think, it's a public park. Yeah. The public seats. Yeah. Are the seats, the beanbags not part of the pub? No. You sure? I don't think so. This is really cool, the way the public provide beanbags to relax in. What park? Grove Park. Grove Park. Guys, this is how you should make matcha by hand. And I'm really excited to try this. Look at this beautiful green color. This is my favorite. If you know me, I love my matcha. Like, so beautiful. Let me try this. Oh yes, yes, I think this is my favorite. Matcha here in New Zealand. Guys, if you're in New Zealand, definitely try Pour and Twist. I do have to say I like the coffee from yesterday too. Evil, evil sisters or what it was. But like, Glenn, try your coffee. So, give my coffee a go. It is delicious. I'm really, really surprised. Oh. Delicious. For filtered coffee. This is a very common practice in Wellywood. So the specialty is filtered coffee and plunger coffee here in Wellington. So it's a very common practice uh, compared to most cities in uh, New Zealand. So. But they do really have a lot of great coffee shops. Any coffee shop really. It's definitely a proof of the coffee capital here in New Zealand. So cheers guys. Cheers Glenn. Yeah, yeah. I'll definitely come back. Yeah, if you guys are back for a trip also. Yeah. Yeah. Not even before that. Yeah. Take care, my friend. Thank you. I knew it. It looks perfect. Guys, we are currently back on Cuba Street. Exploring the street again. Because we explored this in our previous episode. This is really famous. This is apparently really good ice cream. You want to go there? If you want to, if you're talking about it so much. We should. Right, so we're going to some maybe op shops in town. We get some secondhand goods. Guys, we're gonna check out the Paperback Princess op shop. There's a lot of vintage stores on Cuban Street. It's a really cool street, and this is one of the beloved and popular 
op shops here in Wellington. We're on Cuba Street, so we came came across an ice bag of twelve dollars fifty for crazy. New Balance weak shoes. That's I like thought, seven euro. That's for I nothing. Thought, are you gonna buy something? No, I mean these. They're my size, so seven euro. I can't go wrong with that. Okay, so I picked up a nice pair of New Balance there, and I'm pretty happy with the with the with the purchase. But first, we're gonna have a look for some food now. We're a bit, a bit peckish, a bit hungry. Madeline found what restaurant is this? The sushi. I think you're going for the most expensive sushi place in town, Madeline. You have high expectations, or high standards. See, the thing is, Wellington is thriving with sushi places in every corner. I've noticed. There's so many sushi places, Madeline. There's a lot of sushi franchises. Look, there's another one. So we're just leaving Cuba Street, guys, and we're going to Mount Victoria now. We're going back to the car. We actually parked the car at a gym franchise, hoping we get away with the parking fees. Um, we actually, I remember a Snap Fitness soap, that's why we parked outside, the chance are arm. Because in Wellington, parking is so expensive. It's like, they charge like $5 an hour, guys. It's an absolute robbery. <laughs> so we're walking down Cuba Street, like we did in our previous Force Impression Wellington video. So the city is thriving with people. I wouldn't say thriving, I'd say it's very busy on the weekend though. Yeah, it's so summery. There's a lot of music in the back, a lot of copyright music, I think. But what a great atmosphere. Here's an Irish pub. A lot of people having a good time. So we're just outside Courtney Street. Courtney, Courtney Street, guys. That's ANZ, Bank of New Zealand. And we got some free parking here, so we parked the car outside our gym franchise. So very convenient way to save maybe 15, 20 dollars. Well, while we were walking the streets there, so we got lucky. Beautiful mountain, Victoria. This is where we're going. You probably have a beautiful view over Wellington. Very excited to check it out. It's in a one nice of neighborhood. the nice neighborhood, nice architecture, and it's probably a beautiful view over the town. And I'm very excited to check it out. Look at this. But first, we are heading to Oriental Bay, which is right on the bottom of the Mount Victoria. Also a very popular kind of spot to check out while you're in Wellington. So guys, you do have a lot of parking spots here in Wellington. I feel like everywhere is parking, which is not too difficult to find a par parking spot. It's just very expensive. So keep that in mind if you're traveling to uh, Wellington. You can also take the bus or even the ferry to the city center. How much is parking, Glenn? I don't know. It's a bit of a mystery. Three dollars an hour. Oh. Three dollars an hour. That's not too bad. So we can chance it now, five minutes. Five minutes. Check out the area. Because we want to go to the lookout, but I wanted to see this little beach. And I heard a lot of good things about it. Oh yeah, people hanging out, having a good time, sunbathing. It's a nice little spot. It's really popular in summer. What is very blue, isn't it? Nice location, it's a, it's All the students are enjoying themselves. So many students and young people. Also like a nice way to walk along the, the water on a nice day. But like you notice it, like it's very... It is windy today, like... You feeling the summer vibes, Glenn? Oh yeah, the sun is shining here in Wellington. Oh yeah. You don't get that very often with the nice windy breeze. <laughs> it's very windy. Now the wind is starting to kick in. What a beautiful spot. Oh, Glenn. I wanted to show you guys these beautiful seven buildings here, also known as like seven sisters. They were originally nine, so that's the reminder. The architecture was Joshua Charleswood, if I remember it. And they are beautiful, beautiful buildings. Like they're a really famous building here in Wellington, overlooking here the Oriental Bay. Probably very expensive to live in. We have coffee shops everywhere. So guys, we're just driving along the Oriental Bay, making our way up to the lookout. And then we walk around there for a bit. So you can actually uh, drive up there, but you can also access it uh, from the Courtenay uh, Place Street. I find it weird that it's called Courtenay Place and it's a street. Do you find it confusing? I find it a bit confusing. Why? But it's, I don't know, it's a street. The place is it? Oh, this is a cool looking car. Very, very 
colorful. The bay, the Wellington Bay and all them big buildings. Jeez, I can't get over how lucky we are with the weather. So you definitely do get really beautiful days here in Wellington. This is the proof. A lot of people say like we're really promoting it very well. So yeah, uh, we have to go in 200 meters to the right, Glenn. Plane, maybe flying to Auckland. Auckland. Nice, uh, beautiful buildings up here. Look at these beautiful buildings. It's very curvy here. Curvy. Sixty minutes free parking. Huh? Sixty minutes free parking there. Yeah. In five hundred meters. Oh wow, really narrow streets up here. Roads a bit dangerous. It's very narrow and wonky and roundy and. What is wonky? It's Glen Ward. You'll have to be very careful and cautious around these corners. Yeah, because also people drive very really fast. And also there's a lot of cars parked right and there. There's no space really. Oh my god, it's very tight. Guys, welcome to the Mount Victoria lookout. I'm gonna show you show it to you in a minute. And it's beautiful. Oh my god, I can't get over how beautiful this weather is because I've seen and heard a lot of like reviews, people saying it's so windy and even here on the lookout, check the weather. It's very apparently very often very windy. Uh, but not today. There's no wind right now whatsoever. I'm sweating. I'm so hot. So this is a first. Oh wow, you can even see the airport from the lookout over here. Be cool, but there's no airplane. Welcome to the peak of Mount Victoria, guys. Looking over beautiful Wellywood and Wellington. It's a bit misty, foggy, quite bright, but it's still looking quite beautiful today, guys, on this nice sunny day. What a view! We're very grateful and lucky to experience such a nice place here in New Zealand, guys. I didn't even know they had a stadium actually over here. There's a forest for there's a forest for everything. We're discovering the city as we go. So guys, we're going to the Hobbit Hideaway location, which is around 15 minutes of a walk. Madeline wants to go on a mini hike, so I have to tag along, unfortunately. I'm only joking. I like it too. Right, let's hit the road, Jack. Guys, we're on the hunt for the Hobbit Hideaways. Famous scene in the Hobbit movies where they were hiding. From what were they hiding, Glenn? They were hiding from what? Orcs? Yeah, I think something like that. Well, we have to find a way down. The Hobbit look The Hobbit. The oh. Hobbit. There is a landmark, actually. I don't know. Can't be it. Are you a Hobbit? Guys, we're at the movie locations of the Lord of the Rings, where they filmed a few scenes. I wanted to come here. I've only recently seen for the first time a lot of the rings. Don't judge me, but I think it's great. I love it. Actually, honestly, I prefer Hobbits more so far. What do you guys like? I think it's so cool that you can go to all of these places in New Zealand, to the movie sets and kind of, you know, see where they film the locations because it's so beautiful. Look, one of the quotes is, if I take one more step, it will be the furthest away from home I've ever been. If I take one more step, it'll be the farthest away from home I've ever been. Guys, and that's probably the furthest away from home i ever been, or we've ever been, on the other side of the world. And it's so cool. New Zealand's far, far away from home. Guys, we did it. We seen the top, we got to enjoy the view, and we seen the Hobbit location where it was filmed. Actually, and you know what? The public buses actually come up the hill, guys, if, you're, if you have no transportation, so. There's always a way to make it up the hill. You can even cycle if you want and break your break a sweat. It is a big steep incline, so Honestly. you're ready and for the surprise. And there's also a lot of parking spots. I'm surprised, and it's quite empty. And it's free, so yeah. Lot of free, car free parking, free guys. Free parking. Oh yeah. Up here, so that's why we came up here. And where are we going now? We're going to we're going to the gym. I think we maybe go to the supermarket or the gym, Glenn. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Straight back down the mountain we go. Guys, we're currently in Johnsonville and we decided to actually go to the gym here, but we're staying in York's Bay. Um, so we're going to Snap Fitness, we're just finishing up. So guys, hopefully you had a, hopefully you enjoyed the episode and we will catch you 
in the next one. Time to get the sweat on, guys. All the best.